What usually comes to mind when you hear the word engineer? Maybe you think about someone stuck on Bush campus doing math all day. Or maybe you think about someone with no social life at all. Well, if you thought that, then you are completely wrong. Mr. Engineer, a talent show for males enrolled in the School of Engineering, aims to disprove negative stereotypes about engineers. I'm here in the studio with Shannon Campbell, this year's winner of the Mr. Engineer pageant. Shannon, thank you for joining us today. Hey, it's a pleasure. First, I would like to say congratulations on winning Mr. Engineer. Why did you choose to become a part of Mr. Engineer? Well, last year I heard of uh, Mr. Engineer uh, from the dining hall in Bush, and I saw the advertisements that we were looking for cool and unusual engineers, and I thought, hey, I'm a cool and unusual engineer. And they said that they were looking for artistic, musical, and I said, wait, I should probably run for this. But then by the time I found out about it, it was too late for me to sign up. So then I had to wait for the next year, which is what brought me here today. What were the different events you needed to participate in? The first event was sportswear, where we were encouraged to model an outfit that reflected our favorite sport or activity. And I chose breakdancing for that one. It was very fun, actually. The second event was engineered, which I believe was the hardest one to prepare for. That event, we had to wear an outfit completely out of duct tape. A lot of superheroes were, were, uh, <laughs> were revealed that night. The third event was talent, which I believe is self-explanatory. The fourth event was uh, escort, where we were told to have a uh, female escort to uh, walk us around stage and then back. And the final event was a uh, question and answer, where we chose one out of three questions from a, uh, from a box. Which event do you think was your strongest? Well, engineer took a lot of work, and people tell me that the talent portion was the most impressive, but I feel my strongest event was the escort, actually. They told us to have a female escort to just walk us around stage and just quietly walk back, but uh, I guess I broke two rules. One, he wasn't a female, he was a male, he's actually my roommate. And two, we didn't just walk around, we did a secret handshake. And I guess people knew exactly where we got it from. I guess everyone in the school watched uh, Rush Hour. <laughs> and I think it had the, the most crowd support. How did you feel when you won Mr. Engineer, and what does winning mean to you? I was a bit surprised, actually, because there's a lot of competition that I went up against. So to be honest, each round, I didn't, <laughs> didn't think I was going to make it. I was thinking to myself, it's my time. But, you know, it wasn't, I guess. So I made it. And what do I feel about uh, winning? I mean, honestly, I feel it was a great opportunity to share God's love. And I really, really am appreciative about that. Thank you for joining us today, Shandon, and I wish you the best of luck on your upcoming year. If you would like more information on Mr. Engineer, you can visit their website at rumrng.tk. Or if you want information on the School of Engineering, you can visit their site at www.soe.rutgers.edu. For RUTV, I'm Santiago Melly-Huber.